Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Uh, kind of a strange little video here for you, something that we've never really covered before. Um, but we're in a very unique situation where we can offer some yeah, opinions we are. on it. So we are. Uh, if you can tell by this video, the Maple Leafs have gotten a new play-by-play -play person. For their that, TV, local for TV. The, yes, TV. for their TV section. Yeah. Um, that person is... is uh, John Bartlett. John Bartlett. For, I was going to say a uh, different first name there for a second. is Like I... I've heard his name a thousand times. I know exactly who he is. I, I could draw you a picture of him. It would look exactly like him. But <laughs> just in that moment, sometimes when you're filming a video, the information that you need just escapes your head. <laughs> that was one of those moments. And why are we qualified to comment on John Bartlett, Neil? Because uh, he used to do the play-by-play -play for Montreal. And by used to, I mean actually for quite a long time. He used to work at CJAD, which is the radio station in local Montreal, and do the play-by-play -play, uh, just via audio on the radio station. And he was very good at it. And then he moved on, uh, promotion. Not really promotion, but a lateral move. Lateral movement in yeah. the industry, and, uh, and he put his face on TV, and uh, he's been doing a pretty good job. Um, we're here to comment on his what he's done in the past with Montreal or for Montreal, um, and what he could bring to the table for the Maple Leafs and uh, Maple Leaf fans specifically, because he's going to be talking to them every day, not every, day, every second day. Pretty well, yeah. Uh, John Bartlett. Uh, mm. Relatively in the in the spectrum of sportscasters, he's a relatively good sports ca sportscaster, especially for a local market. Yeah, I there's, really really like him. Yeah, there's no bigger local market than Toronto. He's originally from Newmarket, Ontario, so he's a local boy, and he's come back. He he had been there like mm. in, you know long ago, but he as you say he did radio, then he went to television, uh, and there are some quirks and turns of phrase that uh, that annoy me, but I'm I'm triggered. Yeah, and we'll talk about it for sure. We'll, we'll mention when it. When I hear that. But uh, he'll slide in very nicely, and I think he'll be a very good fit for the Leafs. He probably knows a lot about the Leafs already. Uh, yeah. He's probably been following them closely, being a local boy. He replaces, uh, interestingly, Paul Romanuk, who has been doing that broadcast on that local uh, air. Mm. So Paul Romanuk, I don't know where Paul Romanuk is going. Hopefully not. <laughs> Yeah. To Montreal. Hopefully this is not a Montreal-Toronto trade. Yeah, we're not huge Paul Romanuk fans. We are fans. not tr Paul Romanuk fans. Don't dislike the guy. Don't wish any ill will on him. Yeah, no, nothing like that. And I don't want any harm to come to Paul Romanuk, but I just don't want him on my television. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I, I think John is a very fair play-by-play -play, yes. uh, caster. Uh, that's definitely one thing I've noticed about him over the years is that he does not play favoritism to the home team, which you kind of argue that... Home team announcer is probably good. Like Jack Edwards is very, he's just, he's all about Boston. Like, it doesn't matter what team the Boston Bruins are playing. They are the, they like, they're death to that team. Yeah. They're, they can't, they do everything wrong. Uh, Boston's always in the right. John's not like that. Yeah. And, and you got Rick Jenner in Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, and you got the guy in Pittsburgh, slap me silly Sydney. I forget his name. <laughs> but sometimes they're over the top that way. I really, really, I grew up in the era of Danny Gallivan, Dick Irvin. They were clearly Montreal boosters. It was us versus them. But they, I think they were fair. They weren't over the top with it. I, I don't think so. Now there's a lot of people who disagree, especially Toronto fans, <laughs> who think Dick Irvin comes from hell <laughs> and is going back there when, he's, when he dies. Um, but I always liked Dick Irvin. Um, I still do. And he's still around and they drag him out once in a while to do some things on mm -hmm. Hockey Night in Canada. And he's still got it. He always gives a good interview. Yeah. But, yeah, he's um, really, really good. So, uh, John Bartlett, I don't know who the color commentator will be. Mm. Bartlett worked with a few different color commentators in, in Montreal. Um, he's, like you say, he's very fair. He calls the game from a you know, high altitude. He sees the whole game. I wish all sportscasters would tell us a little bit more about what we're not seeing on camera. Yes. When there's a line change or when there's something going on off, off the frame. Uh, but that's everybody. So it's not it's not just particular to, to John. Mm -hmm. Now John's departure for uh, Toronto leaves a hole in Montreal, and there's a guy doing a radio that I really really like. His name is Dan Robertson, and okay. he does radio on TSN 690, which is the current broadcaster uh, for the Canadians. <clears throat> I believe if I heard it right, and I only heard it once, maybe twice. I think Dan Robertson started off in, in Cape Breton. I think he's from Sydney or the, really? the Sydney area. Yeah. Hmm. And he may have done some Screaming Eagles games. I don't know if he actually did radio work there, but I believe Dan is from, from Cape Breton, which would be kind of cool too, hmm. uh, because I actually like him on the radio. Um, maybe like me, he has a face for radio and never got onto TV. <laughs> you Who did knows? some TV? Not much. 
not much. I was, I was a guest panelist once in a while, but I certainly wasn't there. Like, <laughs> oh, Brent, you're really good looking. We want you on tonight, you know, to boost our ratings. Mm. That, that never happened. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll see who what happens in Montreal. But Toronto's getting themselves a good sportscaster for that. There's different levels of network coverage. The you know, Hockey Night in Canada. Uh, right. There's there's the local regional Leafs coverage and in Toronto they also have this thing called Leafs TV which I don't we don't get to see it's it's not cut, yeah. uh, carried down here so I don't know what all Toronto fans get for their wall to wall twenty four seven Leafs coverage but I know they mm -hmm. can get it if they want it so we like John well I should say we I like John about ninety five percent of the time mm -hmm. the five percent of the time when I don't like John is when he says this one specific term that he uses over and over and over again and listen i'm no expert i wouldn't i i'm not saying i could do his job better i couldn't i would be t i would be a terrible play-by-play -play person so much worse than him but as an as a listener as a consumer of his voice and his play-by-play -play, that term that he uses too often is gain the line so when it, and a team uh, has possession of the puck and enters the other zone or the opposing team's zone across the blue line, he'll say gains a line. And each of these play-by-play -play announcers uh, all have their own little sayings and stuff. Uh, Paul Romanek has one that he uses two or three times a game, but John uses gain the line probably 20 to 30 times a game. And it's- Yeah, several times per period. It wears on you. And, and so. you know for a fact he has no idea he's doing it. Yeah. He's not, he's not self-aware on that. And I think all sportscasters would do well to watch some of their games and listen carefully to what they're saying to try to not say the repetitive thing, like we called out Doc Emmerich a couple of nights ago for saying on mm -hmm. all the time. You know, he, he goes on into the zone and then he plays the puck on out, uh, on, on, on all the time. And I didn't really notice it the first few years and maybe he wasn't doing it as much, but last year was awful. Yeah, it was. For on. And like I said, we're no experts. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, we just like we're trying to be as fair as possible we're not just trying to tell you all the good stuff we want to include bad stuff it's just like some of the car reviewers on youtube some of them are really biased and and only say good things about vehicles and stuff but there's some channels that tell you exactly how they feel regardless uh if they like the brand or not they just tell you exactly their experience and stuff we're mm -hmm. just telling you our experience and that doesn't mean we don't like john we already said i like john like i really like john we like him a lot um, we just want to give you a little yeah. heads up that you might be hearing that term quite a bit if you're a maple Leafs fan yeah toronto's uh, lucky to get him Yes. And hopefully he'll uh, last out a long, long time there doing their regional broadcasts and maybe move on up to more national broadcasts. Uh, who knows? Yeah, he's on the way up. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah, no question. So good guy. Uh, for sure. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Maple Leaf fans, if you have any experience with uh, John, uh, let us know down in the comments. And Canadians fans, if we missed anything, let us know down in the comments as well so the Maple Leaf fans can go look through and uh, read your opinions and uh, be part of the community. Check out what others, others are saying down below. So thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you did like it. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.